On today's episode of Shopping with Avicart, there will be a surprisingly lacking amount of Instacart orders, Taco Bell, triple crap orders, gold cart status, and even birds. How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing some Instacart, but I got some bad news. We got demoted to gold cart status. We're at my local grocery store, HEB, and I am waiting for an Instacart order. I've been here for about 30 minutes and I haven't seen a thing. My wife has been gold cart for a few months now and I know what I'm in for. It's not the greatest in our market. And you might be wondering, why did I let this happen? Well, last quarter, Instacart deactivated me. I got back on, but while I was deactivated, I discovered other apps. I got approved for Walmart Spark, so I started multi-apping a lot more. And I was finding a lot of success in that, so I kind of stopped doing Instacart full-time. So because of that, I didn't get to maintain my Diamond Cart status. But we'll see how today goes. It's possible I won't even be able to take Instacart order, but uh, we'll give it a try. So we just saw our first Instacart order, and I'm going to pass on it because it's only $9 and at a different location and I'm in the middle of doing a favor for HEB, which is some other delivery service app, kind of local to Texas. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know, I did see an order, so I could have taken it, but we're not doing $9. All right, so I just dropped off our favor. It was $8, which is basically the minimum that we could get. As soon as I parked, I got a notification for a $37 Instacart order. I tapped on it because I was parked and disappeared. I got the, the cursed red text. Another shopper took this batch or whatever. So I'm big sad right now, but I'm heading back, or I'm trying to. I have no idea where, where I'm at currently. So I probably should have a GPS. So I'll see you guys whenever we have some progress. Um, Walmart Spark had no drop too, so it seems like it's kind of just quiet out here right now. All right guys, we're doing a $13 Walmart Spark order right now. Still haven't really seen anything on Instacart that I've been able to take. guys so we just got a $28 Walmart spark order um, I kind of feel bad because this is supposed to be an Instacart video but I'm just not seeing Instacart orders right now so uh, yeah it's a little awkward all right guys so we just took a $20 Instacart order it's only 17 items or so two customers but a lot of units looking like 30 to 40 units mostly because one person wants a bunch of the sparkling water i feel you on that so let's go ahead drive across the street i wasn't in the bubble for once but I, I was really close so that must mean that someone else passed up on this because normally you were last priority if you're not in the bubble some people are trying to say otherwise on my last video but yeah we'll just leave it at that we'll see what happens at the spark drop if there's something crazy i'd be half tempted to drop this instacart order but uh I feel like we gotta do this. We gotta do it for the content. Bye bye. All right, we are at the store. It's time to kill this order. See if we can shop it in like 15 minutes and get out of here. That order was a disaster. A, B. That order was so bad. I think half of the items were out of stock and I was trying to do replacements with a customer that wasn't making a lot of sense over text. They were probably busy at work. So it was very confusing. So it took me like 45 minutes to shop. Should have been really easy, but there is so much out of stock. I feel like half the items were out of stock in replacements. And um, I did do some big refunds. So this order is going down. It's funny, as soon as I get an Instacart order, everything goes bad. I put my first customer's order in paper bags because she ordered some fancy stuff. So I think she'll uh, appreciate the touch. Right, so after that disaster, let's take a look at the results. Basically $22, ended up taking us close to like an hour to do. It should have been more like a half hour type of deal, but we got unlucky, it's all right. So this puts us right around $70 for the day and uh, we're gonna keep going. Try to get to around 130 at least. All right guys, so we just got a snack. We got uh, some Taco Bell. I did just see another Instacart order. It was $37, but it was three customers and I really try to avoid those orders because 
the third customer is kind of getting screwed because their stuff is coming so late. It's like, I don't want to get a bad review or have them take their tip away because of bad service. I avoided that one, but I will say it wasn't too bad. 37 bucks for like eight miles, three customers. It was 69 units, ha, huh? and I think 39 items. Once again, I'm seeing kind of like these weird orders that people are passing up on. On the bright side, we did just get a 17 and 83 cent spark order for 6.7 miles. I will happily take that because it'll take half the time as that Instacart order and I could probably do another one of these and make about the same amount in two hours. Because those three customer orders, they take forever when you drive to that many houses. All right guys, we just got like a $16 order, eight items. It was about $2 per mile, I believe, but I'll have to double check that later. Looks like a easy little order to get us to 104. Easy. All right, so that order went pretty smooth. Apparently after I took this order, there was a 50 that my buddy saw over here. So just uh, bad timing. Either way, I'm gonna go drop these off and then we'll get back at it. We're gonna be right around 104 and I'll take it. guys, we are delivering a $13 Express Walmart order right now. This is a $17 Express order. Do you guys see how many birds are over here? Like I'm waiting for the power line to do something. Cause that is an overload of birds on that line. Oh my gosh. Is this like bad luck or something? Please don't crap on my car. Not that I care, it's already a piece of crap. All right, we just finished dropping that order off and we're gonna be going home real soon. We should be right around 1.35 for the day, but uh, I'll give you guys a little recap later about how wonderful Instacart is as a gold cart status uh, shopper. It's fun stuff, guys. Real fun stuff. All right guys, so let's talk about gold cart status and how it affected my day. So coming from a shopper that was previously diamond cart, I would say I noticed a significant decrease in orders. I also noticed that I would still see notifications for orders, but by the time I would get on the app, they would be gone. Whereas when I was a diamond cart shopper, that seemed to happen at least a little less. I think that's probably the biggest drawback is just when you're gold cart, you do not have priority access to batches like you do when you're a diamond cart shopper. And if you guys are shopping at Costco, this is extremely important because at Costco, if you're gold cart, you do not stand a chance against the other people that are diamond cart. Like it's not even worth it going to the Costco drop when you're gold cart. And I personally haven't tried this yet, but my wife has several times back when I was a diamond cart shopper and we would compare our phones right next to each other. I would get orders, she wouldn't, and now I'm back to where she was, gold cart status. I think getting diamond cart is worth it, but getting diamond cart almost implies that you have to do Instacart full time. And I really do not suggest that right now. There's so many other apps. And if you guys have access to things like Ship or Walmart Spark, Amazon Flex. These are other apps that can help you make more money. You don't have to rely just on Instacart. Anyways, those are my two cents. I really appreciate you guys watching this video all the way through if you guys are still here for some reason. If you could, smash that like button down below. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on my next video.